It is soup season. Let's make a sweet and savory soup together today. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where we value health, and we really like to keep you inspired by creating these healthy and nutritious recipes once a week. Today we're going to be making a creamy carrot potato apple soup. Begin by heating two tablespoons of either avocado or olive oil in a large pot over medium heat. Add in one chopped up onion, two chopped up celery stalks, one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt, along with one eighth to one quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Saute up your veggies for about five minutes. Next, add in eight chopped up carrots, or three chopped up beets, one sweet potato chopped up into about one inch chunks, or two Yukon potatoes, and one large chopped up apple. Saute up for another five minutes to bring out the flavors. Next, we're going to add in 32 ounces of either chicken or vegetable broth. You can always add in additional filtered water if needed. You just want the liquid to just barely cover the veggies and the apple. Last, we're going to add in one bay leaf, being sure that the leaf is pressed down into the liquid. Bring to a boil and then reduce your heat, simmering for about 20 to 25 minutes, or until your potatoes and carrots are nice and soft and a fork is easily inserted into them. Remove your bay leaf and carefully blend up your soup in batches. You can either use a blender, a food processor, or a hand blender. If your soup is too thick, just add in a little bit of filtered water to help it blend up easier. Return your blended soup back to the pot and then stir in one 5.4 ounce can or one third of a cup of full fat coconut milk. When you're ready to serve, squeeze in just a little bit of fresh lemon juice. We are ready to give this soup a taste. So a couple of things. Normally I give you really specific measurements of ingredients, like one cup of this and one tablespoon of that. But for this soup, I just thought it would be so much easier if I told you how much produce to buy because it's really difficult to mess this soup up. And if this soup is too thick, all you need to do is just add in a little bit more broth or a little bit more water and you really can make it work. I promise you, you won't go wrong. So let's give it a taste, shall we? What a fun blend of flavors. So it is sweet, but then it's also a little bit spicy with the cayenne pepper. I definitely would not leave that out. And then I love the flavor of that bay leaf. Just that one little leaf can add so much more flavor to your soup. And definitely don't forget to give it a little bit of a squeeze of a lemon that really just brightens it all up. This is delicious. I hope you give this one a try. Thanks for joining me today. Hey, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you, so thank you. Make really great choices this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.